Hey Scorpios, and welcome back to my channel, Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you who are new to the channel, Scorpio, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below along with the notification bell. That way you can be notified anytime I go live or post new content. So, Scorpio, this is going to be your October love reading for the collective. Um, please do keep in mind the messages will not resonate with every single Scorpio, okay? So check the uh, placements in your natal chart. All right, sun and rising Venus signs. Let's get it, Scorpio. Let's get it. We're going to take a look at the overall energy sign of this connection, Scorpio, and then we're going to go right into what is the situation? What is the situation between you and the person you are dealing with? All right, so let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Right. divine source what are the current energies surrounding the sign of scorpio in the person that they're dealing with action action courage let okay Ooh, scorpio Ooh. okay current energy source okay all right Current energy surrounding. Okay. Give me one more. Current energy surrounding. Okay. They gave them to me, so I'm going to take them. All right, Scorpio. Ooh, y'all got a lot. Ooh, chill. Okay. We have, right off the bat, Scorpio. Let me just move my sage out of the way. Uh, Right off the bat, we have, let me move the black obsidian over for a second. We have action, Jupiter, beginnings, courage. So for me, that energy, okay, let me just show you how to card, Scorpio. This energy right here with beginnings, courage, and Jupiter action, this is my like ace of wands type of energy, okay? Somebody is definitely thinking about taking a leap of faith and coming towards you for a new beginning. This is definitely your twin flame, okay? This is a twin flame connection between you and this person. Look, we have Mars energy here again, Aries Leo Sagittarian energy, hot. Okay, this this energy is off the charts between you and your person. The chemistry between you two is off the charts. There's a lot. There's mutual love and attraction. We have the heart chakra here. Okay, with that red. Um, we also have guarded. We have guarded and we have wounds. And I feel like and we have thoughts. Okay, thoughts. And being that this is a twin flame connection, Scorpio, I feel intuitively that you and your person mirror each other in this aspect, that you both, you both really, really love each other. You both really do have a strong attraction and connection to one another, but, right, there's a but, you two have been through a lot. How many problems you got? A lot. So y'all have been through a lot, okay? And y'all have been wounded. You've been hurt. You've been left out in the cold in the past by someone that you've given your all to, you know, mind, body, and soul, giving everything. And you're in your head about this currently, Scorpio. You're in your head about this currently because you're afraid. You're afraid to take action here and start this new beginning because I feel like a lot of you have, you're dealing with a new person. Like I said, please keep in mind that this reading will not resonate with every single Scorpio. But for some of you, there will be a new person coming in that you're going to feel like, um, hesitant to really open up and be vulnerable with spirit saying go ahead and open up their heart chakra you have to be vulnerable Scorpio you have to um, you have to be receptive to love if you're praying for and manifesting new love then you've got to unblock your chakras to allow you to one be able to see things clearly and to be able to reciprocate the energy that you're expecting to come to you so you have to be vulnerable um, some of you are having doubts because we've got thoughts here, isolating thoughts, you know, negative self-talk, no, no ma'am and no sir, okay, for those of my divine masculines and feminines watching the video. Don't tell yourself that you're not good enough. Don't tell yourself that, you know, have all these doubts and fears because that's what's going to block this connection and keep you from moving forward, right, in a positive energy because you want blessings and success in whatever you set your hand to do. 
So if you're thinking negatively, well, what if this and what if that, you can't move forward, Scorpio. So that's what spirit's wanting you to know, okay? Your person loves you. You love them. The chemistry is hot. So what it do, Scorpio? Ain't nothing to it but to do it. So let's see. What message of spirit do you have for the sign of Scorpio in regards to their connection with their person? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Show me the messages, please, for the sign of Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have wish. We have wish. We have wish. Like I said, a lot of you have manifested this connection. A lot of you have been praying for true love, Scorpio. And you know what? The universe brought it to you. The divine source, however you identify, the universe has brought you what you've been hoping, praying, and yearning for. We have escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Some of you, look, again, this card pops up. Just had this in Libra's reading. X has granted. Some of you, um, you may have met this person or reached out to this person. They may reach out to you on a social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case may be, okay? Um, escapade. Some of you may be planning to see your person or your person may be planning to see you with escapade, vacation, hideaway, adventure. Yes, yeah, some of you, this is like this relationship. You see this as a whole, um, a whole new adventure for you. We have today, present, now in the moment. So Spirit is saying what you've been praying for, wishing for, this new adventure, um, it's coming. It's coming, right? Also to focus on in the moment, you know, and there's flowers here and the flowers represent growth. Okay. Focus on how much you've grown from the past situations. Also from the wounded and guarded Scorpio. Don't focus on what you don't have or how this person may not work out or how things might, you know, don't focus so much on the negative. Okay. We have gossip. Yeah, don't always listen to what other people say because you know your relationship better than anybody. Um, we have jealousy, petty, and envy. Um, yeah, don't allow yourself to think negative, um, but also don't allow other people to influence you, you know, as far as what you should do and what you shouldn't do. For some of you, this is definitely in regards to a divine masculine because I had masculine on the bottom. We have plugged, okay? Tuned in, internet connected. Like I said, some of you have met your person online, some dating website or, you know, social media platform, whatever the case may be, you two are connected, okay? Spirit said you're connected. This person is connected to you, you to them. You may be hearing things about this person also with gossip and they or they may be hearing things about you, but that doesn't matter to them because they're connected to you. You two are planning to meet. We have meeting here. Um, two or more people discussing. You two may be making plans. If this is a new person, you two may be making plans to get together, to meet, to go out, to date. We have interview. We have interview. Um, you two need to have, if you're not already having the heart-to-heart -heart conversations like the romance angels say, you need to, Spirit is saying. You need to... <laughs> Conduct this relationship like an interview. And y'all know me as an employment specialist for what I do. Everything is always in regards to work. You know, are you a qualified candidate for the position, right? Is this person a qualified candidate, Spirit's asking. That's what you need to be asking, Scorpio, if this is a new person for you. For those of you who are already dealing with this person, you two have had conversations and you two are on the same page, okay? That's why you two are making plans to move forward and literally moving. Like some of you are making plans to move in together, um, relocate. So we have location change, purchasing a home together. Um, I feel like you're in your head about it. Timing factor. Some of you are right now focusing on when that time comes, how things are going to go. When you get to that point about building something solid, moving in together, because those are big relationship steps, you know, those are big goals in a relationship. Um, I feel like you may be nervous about this, but spirit has a lesson to teach you. We have karmic, we have third party relationship and we have lesson. And there's, there's a lesson, a karmic lesson here that, um, one with the gossip, right? Petty, envy, jealousy. 
you know, don't be focused on what how other people are living their lives or be influenced by friends or people, relatives. They can't tell you how to conduct your relationship with your person. Like I said, you and your person um, are making plans. You and your person are talking, getting to know each other, getting on the same page. Don't allow someone else's interference to block your connection. But also the karmic lesson here is stop being in your head, Scorpio. Don't think the worst of a situation. Give the Let it flow naturally and don't think the worst case scenario because something beautiful is waiting for you. Okay? We have nightlife. I feel like you guys are nervous about this because you're taking a risk, especially if you're talking about and making plans on moving in together or even going, even going on a vacation with this person. Yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like this is a new person. Drastic, extreme, harsh, cut off. I feel like some of you may be making drastic changes when it comes to this person in regards to this connection with your person. But this person does make you happy and you make them happy, Scorpio. So happiness here. We have wholeness, overjoyed, smiling. So for some of you, you feel whole with this person. Like I said, in the past, you you have had karmic relationships that have wounded you. And I feel like this is why a lot of you may be in your head about the new person that's coming in. Um, but Spirit is saying, calm down, Scorpio. Don't, mm -mm, don't, don't go there. Don't go south. Okay? We need you to stay. We need you to stay north. Okay? Follow the direction. We're going straight ahead. Follow the yellow brick road. Okay? <laughs> to happiness, Scorpio. All right. So let's see what, uh, what the romance angels have to say about it. Oops. Ooh, ooh. Free yourself. Free yourself. Yeah. It's time to take back control of your life. You know, don't be stuck. I feel with here, Spirit's message to y'all, Scorpio, is like, don't be stuck in what happened in the past. It's time to move forward. You know, it's time. You, you have the power to determine the outcome of the situation. You and this person have chemistry, especially if this is a new person. Um... Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Some of you have had some childhood wounding as well, that childhood traumas that needed to be healed. You need to heal it. You need to release it, work on it, bring it to the surface, figure out what your triggers are and deal with that before you go into a relationship. But also healing from a past relationship with family issues is like if you had a family, you had children, you ended up in a divorce, healing from that situation so that you can move forward. Free yourself from that situation, Spirit said trust yes one of my favorite cards in the romance oracles this situation is calling for you to have faith the divine source god almighty however you identify scorpio wants you to trust in him okay that this is going to work out very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so manifest pray about um, you know, seek guidance and advice about the situation so that you can bring it about, but also put in the work, right? If you want it to work, put in the work. We have let your friends help you. Like I said, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, the divine source, right? Whoever. We have separation. For some of you, you may live at a distance from your person with separation. The time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Some of you, it's already going on. There is a lot of passion between you two. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This could be the one. Spirit says this could be the one. But if you're allowing your, your heart to be closed off and negative thinking to come in with fears and doubts of lack or not being good enough for this person or having enough, it's going to block the connection. We have let go of control issues. <laughs> Spirit said it, not me, Scorpio. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. <laughs> Reminds me of the Maybelline commercial, right? Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline, right? You just naturally, okay? Naturally beautiful relationship. Calling in your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate. So, like I said, some of you have prayed for this and spirit has given it to you. Your prayers have been answered, Scorpio. Or they're about to be. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So for those of you who are not dealing with someone, Spirit is saying, work on yourself, heal your traumas so that the new love can come in. For those of you who are currently dealing with someone, you all are about to make big decisions in this relationship. 
such as moving in together, purchasing a home, making big changes, planning for stability, possibly marriage in the future. But your own negative feelings and thoughts, Scorpio, can get in the way. So focus on removing those blocks. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So also focus on your money situation. Saving your money, budgeting, making the plans with you and your person, right? They need to get their money situation worked out right so that they can help you if you're planning on making like actual big purchases together, a home, an apartment, you know, whatever the case may be, making big changes, going on a vacation, whatever the case may be, you've got to save money for that, right? Because you've got hotel expenses, rental car expenses, food, you know, all of that. So in general, all right? That's been your love reading, collective love reading for the month of October, Scorpio. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please feel free to either email me or go to my website, AquarianEmpressTarot.net. Until next time, love you guys.